Hi, this is Melissa with Sagebrush Wellness. I'm so, so happy that you are joining me today. Generally, my um, partner in crime, if you want to say it that way, Melissa is with me to help kind of balance out our conversations because she has so much um, experience as a mental health professional. She's unable to join us today, and I'm going to chat with you around what does it look like for us as we continue in our wellness journey? So let me give you a little bit of backstory. Many of the clients that I work with and have worked with for quite some time, we've been able to solve their health issues. They're able to reach a sustainable level of wellness. But often when they get to that place, and I'm going to tell you my own story in a moment. Well, often when they get to that place, it is a, it's a thing of, okay, how do I stay here? Well, it's really quite simple because in your recovery journey, whatever your health situation is or was, you've learned along the way or should have learned along the way, the things that were driving that for you. You've been able to, to address those. And now that when your body has come back into a really good place of balance, you can still use those tools that you gathered along the way to help you address those uh, specific health issues for yourself. So there's a common misconception of when I get well, right, I can go back to living how I was when I was sick. And that is not the way it is. So many of uh, <laughs> like new clients that come in to work with me, they're like, okay, I'll do all this until I get better. And then I'm going to go back. And what they realize is that as they're walking their recovery journey, there is no going back to the way they used to live because many times the lifestyle habits, food choices, um, you know, undealt with trauma, uh, not making time for themselves, not taking time for themselves in that way, not caring for themselves. It's actually what was driving the process that made them sick in the first place. So I'd like to kind of blow that misconception out of the water right here at the beginning, because as you become well, in order to stay well, you need to keep those processes going that you've used to reach that state of wellness right? To be able to stay there and even optimize, right? So one of the things that I want to chat with you about is, um, you guys mostly know my story, right? I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis when I was 33. I should have been in a wheelchair, but I was just too stubborn. Um, my left side didn't work at all. I didn't have much feeling in my hands left. My left leg was completely numb. My right leg, leg was going as well. I couldn't trust my movement, my strength at all. And as I began to heal and my body began to recover, I began to realize that too was, okay, I can't go back to the way I lived before, right? And even since then, even since the last symptom of MS left my body and I was able to continue forward and continue to optimize my wellness, I still keep a team of professionals, wellness professionals of very, you know, I've been very, very strategic in who I've chosen to be a part of my team who support me. And I want you to kind of lean into this because even though you may have reached what you feel is optimal, your body is always wanting to move either forward or backwards. And we always want it to be a forward movement. So you may need to hand pick a team of professionals to work around you. Like I have a naturopath. I have a very gifted uh, kinesiologist and chiropractor. I have a massage therapist. I have a very gifted um, uh, counselor who works with me when I get stuck. Um, I have um, a gal who helps me with some energy work to really move blocks. These people are very key and I reach out to them when I need them. 
And I want you to give yourself permission to explore that idea as well. Because to remain well, like to get well, you'll need a team. But to remain well, you'll need a team as well. You might need to check in, you know, once a year or, you know, just whenever you feel like you need them. But I want you to think about what do you need and what are the what is the team that you need to be set in place around you to really help you optimize your wellness journey. Does that make sense? So for me, I know very well that if I don't take care of my body and my mind and all of the things, I have the propensity or weakness, if you want to say it that way, or possibility to fall back into MS symptoms. And by George, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> and I know that's the way you feel as well, especially if you've come out of a really um, hard health situation that took you a while to get well, right? You don't want to go back. But having very strategic people on your team to continue to support you is one of the best ways that you can do that. That's all I have for you today, but I really want you to lean into that. Who do you need in your team to really support your continued wellness? And if you're just starting your journey, if you're just starting your journey and you're looking for the people to support you, this is another piece of this. Whenever you're you choosing your the people that you want to work with, it needs to be somebody that you're very you can trust that you're very, uh, you can be very open with. And whether it's a provider such as myself or a doctor or a therapist, whoever it is, it needs to be someone that you feel really comfortable with and at ease with, right? That you can just be in the moment and be able to share freely with. I would be happy for you to check out our clinic and our services here at Sagebrush Wellness. We've got a full team to support you. And even if you choose to come on with us and you have chosen a team member, that needs to be someone who you, you resonate deeply with. Because when we work with especially chronic or long-term Ill illnesses that have been there for a long time, right? Or autoimmune type conditions, it takes real work and it takes time. So as you're working with that pr practitioner, the easy flow of trust and being able to really lean into what you need to do and be honest and just open is a real key to you being able to reach your wellness goals. Right? Thanks so much for spending time with me today. I've enjoyed sharing with you. This has been a little bit vulnerable for me, but I want you to understand that wellness is a continued journey. It's not like you reach a certain space and you're there, right? You've achieved. It's a continued, um, intentional journey. Awesome. I wish you an amazing day. Take care.